Well, all right, airboat gang, we are back on the Chuck Hawk. Uh, stringers, as you know, are done. I rolled a coat of paint over them to seal them up. We will be painting the whole thing, but we got a lot of stuff to do on the outside. We got a lot of Bondo to do and a couple little glass spots here and there. We're going to get to working on that and get more into it. All right, y'all. So what we got to do to the inside of this thing is, and I've already made some strips, but you can see it in here where it's been eaten into and from the cage, how they mount, had it mounted, how it jumping around has got them holes all wallered out. And she's all eaten up. So we're going to seal it. We're going to glass it from the inside, bond to it on the outside. But this is the cage that came off it. So how it mounted was right into the inside of the boat. And so many people do it that way. It works, but it tears up your boat. That's why I make the brackets like I do on all mine. Now you guys have seen if you've watched the videos. So, and if you haven't, go check it out because I'm not walking over there to show you right now because I got to get to glassing. So, anyways, um, that's what we're doing on the inside of the boat. Then I got to flip it over. We got to work on the outside and get it paint ready. Well, we got them glassed in. Got that one in. Got that corner in and that back piece I forgot to mention was busted. So, we put a patch on it. Um letting them setting up and then we're gonna flip the hull not gonna grind those or clean those till we go back into the inside of the hull to do it to get it ready for painting but we're gonna do the outside first i just want to get those done so when i'm doing the outside i can fill the holes from the outside with glass bondo all right y'all so the outside of the hull i got it flipped over um big eating spot from uh being put on a flatbed trailer uh, for like equipment or a vehicle it rubbed the fenders a big hole in there. So and I'm gonna sand it all and we're gonna go over it <clears throat> Okay, guys, here's a spot right here. Um, this is actually really thin. I mean if you can see Like I don't know how well you can sell it but looking at this from right side up when I could look inside the boat you can just tell it's super thin. It's, it's really thin. We'll, I'll do my best. Um, looks like something's already been done here. It's got a big chip. Anyways, so big eating spot here. We got a fix. Big spot. Looks like a bunch of Bondo right here. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there. That's going to have to be addressed. Bondo our holes from our outside that we just patched on the inside. This side, it's got to be hit, sanded, bonded. Little spot there. Something going on there. We'll sand and bondo. It's not that big of a deal. Another chip. I guess that would be the uh, chip and a big gouge. Sand and bondo that. But that's got to be like gel coat, maybe cracking off. Um, this lip here, it's pretty eaten up too. And there's another big spot there. So, also, this front nose has got to be hit all along the edge, like that needs addressed, and uh, this big one here, and there's also, a, that's got to be bonded out, that's a big old gouge, but there's also, oh, there's a crack right here, that's definitely got to be glassed, so. I'm gonna get under sanding it and see what's going on underneath. All right, y'all, so I've sanded it and I've uncovered all the spots I was worried about. Um, this side's here pretty beat up. And that hole we saw earlier. Um, got this uncovered, whatever that was. You can see there's Bondo there previously. Uh, they used car auto body bondo instead of glass bondo uh, this side the spot here we got cleaned up I've already sanded everything uh, I've wiped from this corner around to that back corner with uh, acetone you can see the dust from the sanding but uh 
got those spots covered uh, or uncovered some stress crack in there uh, and this big eating spot from the tire and I believe that's still like rubber stuck in there I'm trying to get out uh, that spot there uh, again I am not a Bondo guy glass guy so there's people out there that can just smear it on there one doggone time and lightly sand it and it looks perfect not me I gotta go over it sometimes one two three times to get it to where it looks pretty good or you know looks good or whatever it looks good enough you know but uh so that's what i'm gonna work on this so i'm gonna lightly uh skim it again and uh sand it again and see how it looks and hopefully we don't have to do it a third time it's super bright uh we ended up skimming three coats on it i have to finish sanding that um finish going over it. i'm gonna have to get a finer sandpaper to uh really kind of smooth it out some but uh she's looking pretty good as of right now well she looks terrible but she'll look good when she has paint so i'm gonna get back to sanding all right y'all as i'm fine sanding it i went to the store and got some 320 and as i'm going over it really you know sanding everything thoroughly and looking at it i just keep finding all these little spots that keep coming up that i'm I've missed or overlooked and they just they're just everywhere so anyways and what I'm getting at is it comes to a point where you got to get to the realization that this is an old hall we've resurrected from the grave this thing was in real bad shape and you get to a point where you gotta know that you're not gonna get every single little spot all right, y'all, yes, 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 we are doing this completely backwards. The slick should have been done last, but Jeff wanted it done after the stringers and the bottom got repaired, so it got done. So now we got to work around it, which is a pain in the butt, but it's going to work out. Um, I am going to drill and pop this uh, molding off of the edge. Uh, it's going to make it better and easier for me, less tape. We'll put it back on, and it's all worn out looking and we're we'll put a few more rivets in it too to make it look better because it's flaring it's just all it's old so we got the uh t-molding mushroom molding cap top edge whatever you want to call it from around the side of the boat chair all right so taking it off there's a few things i need to hit with a sander um because he's not sure if he's going to be putting it back on and some of that's going to have to be cleaned up and fixed uh so gonna have to still do that um and i just sanded these little holes right here to fill them with bondo and so we got to do that sand that do the other side too on the other edge clean it up where the, the molding come off all right y'all first coat first coat's on and uh it's gonna look too bad I was getting at earlier in the video about all the imperfections that kept popping up. There was a lot of cracks in the gel coat and stuff. And the proper way to do that is literally dremel every single crack out. And there's a lot of work and that ain't happening here because that ain't the price I'm giving him. So he come by before I painted it, checked it all out and said run with it. He ain't looking for perfection and it ain't going to be perfect, but it looks a lot better than it did but uh but it looks pretty good guys uh there's still you know imperfections but from what it was to what it is we definitely brought her back to life and she looks pretty sweet it is a hammered black but it's almost like a silver gray when you spray it all right y'all she is dried i uncovered it i rinsed it all off with the hose to get all of the uh dust from bondo sanding that i didn't clean off and uh she look she looks pretty good so um yeah yeah buddy she looking good so 
Um, I got to get some help to get this thing flipped back over. So I'm going to work on getting somebody over here to get me a hand to get this boat back over. And uh, then we just got to finish painting the inside. So she's almost done. But man, what a difference. Looks way better. Well, y'all, that wraps up the video, man. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys ain't subscribed and you're watching the videos and you like it, man, smash that button. It is 100% free. doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe. So anyways, no further ado. Remember, as always, guys, I love you. Jesus loves you. Thank you for watching and see ya.